as an ethical, matured human being. An ethical human being is a very immature human being. I want you to know this. You are holding on to your ethics because you have no consciousness. Ethics you picked up from outside. Whatever your society, your religion or your profession, something they have put down some rules. Maybe they are the norms with which one can function when they don't know how to function. Now for example, let's say you're a doctor, there are the ethics of Hippocrates, you know? that you must serve a person, it doesn't matter your convenience or inconvenience, when somebody is ill, when somebody's life is in danger, you must go and do it. If you go by these ethics, yes, you will go and do it, but in the process you will become sick. Suppose you are a loving human being, yoga means fundamentally, Today, modern science has proved to you beyond any doubt that the whole existence is one energy, isn't it? Everything in the existence is one energy manifesting itself in millions of forms. Or in other words, this and this are same energy. Now that you are sitting here, suppose for one moment, actually you experienced within yourself that all the people sitting in this hall are actually a part of you. Let us say you experience something like this, not thought, actually you experience. Like you, like you experience the ten fingers of your hand, you experienced all these people for a moment. If you experience these people like this, after that, do I have to teach you morality and ethics, don't harm this person, don't kill this person, don't rob that person, would it be needed? Would it be needed? No. So, yoga means just that, that you experience everything as one. The word yoga comes from the word union, where you see everything as one in your experience, because that is a reality. Only because you have gotten enslaved to the limited dimension of your mind, everything is fragmented in the existence. Only because you are right now, you are basing all your experience through the sense perception which perceives everything in comparison. If you want to compare, you have to divide. If you want to compare, you have to fragment the world into million pieces, otherwise you cannot experience. This is the way of the sense perception. Because your perception is limited to sense organs, you have fragmented the world into million pieces, otherwise you cannot experience it. So the whole process of yoga is to evolve beyond the sense perception so that you can experience the existence as one. Suppose you experienced all these people as a part of you, do I have to teach you ethics? You will joyfully go and do what's needed and you will not become sick in the process. Yes or no? Yes? So, you are always trying to find poor substitutes for truth. That's the biggest problem. Now, to study in your university, you don't have to compete with anybody. If you are truly interested in knowing what you want to study, you will study to the best of your ability, isn't it? Not because your friend is studying, you want to know, that's why you study. When you study like this, your study releases you. When you study to get one mark more than your friend, you are getting entangled and sick you are becoming you are actually becoming sick in the process, isn't it? So to do what you want to do well, you don't have to compete with anybody. What is it that you want to do? Throw your life and do it. What has to happen will happen according to your abilities and your capabilities. Somebody is doing so much, if you try to do that, you will go mad. Or if you compete with somebody, you also limit yourself, you will never realize your full potential. If somebody is a monkey, you will become a little better monkey than him, that's all. You will not realize your full potential, isn't it? You look into yourself, what is it that you want to do? Offer your life to it and do it. What has to happen will happen to the extent 
your capabilities, your intelligence and abilities, I love you, isn't it? Why are you working against somebody? It's not necessary. And stop achieving things in this world, there is nothing to achieve. Do what you love to do with all your heart, what has to happen will happen, isn't it? For more on Sadhguru, visit www.ishafoundation.org.